So today we'll be going over what's called a Cauchy-Euler equation. So as previously, we've been dealing with higher order differential equations, more specifically with constant coefficients. Now in this case with the Cauchy-Euler equation, we're dealing with higher order differential equations with variable coefficients. So for instance, let's say we have this differential equation, x cubed times the third derivative of y with respect to x plus 5x squared times the second derivative of y plus 7x times the first derivative of y plus 8y is equal to 0. Now this, specifically, as you could tell, this has variable coefficients. It does not have constants. You have the variable x here. And one thing to note that makes this a Cauchy-Euler equation is the the order of that variable is the same as a derivative. So you have x cubed and you have the third derivative of y, then you have x squared and it's the second derivative and so on. This is what's known as a Cauchy-Euler equation. It's also known as an equal dimension equation. So now one thing to note, the way to solve a Cauchy-Euler equation is very similar to how we solved the um, differential equations with constant coefficients. And that was with using the what we call the auxiliary or a characteristic equation. And there are three cases that we have here. So for case one, we had distinct roots. And for case two, repeated roots. And for case three, we have complex roots. So let's go ahead and do an example for case one here. So for this example, we have x squared times the second derivative of y take away 2x times the first derivative of y take away 4y is equal to 0. Now, the first step in solving the Cauchy-Euler equation is to first assume y is equal to x to the power of r. And then from here, you get the first derivative, which is r times x to the r minus 1. And then you get the second derivative of this which is equal to r times r take away 1 times x r minus 2. Now, so you first assume y is equal to x to the power of r, and then you get the first and second derivatives, and you plug in these derivatives to the first differential equation that you have, and then you solve for your r. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we plug in the y and the derivatives of y into the Cauchy-Euler equation, we have x squared term times r times parentheses r take away 1 times x to r take away 2 power take away 2x r times x to the power of r take away 1 take away 4x r is equal to 0. Now you do some simplifications here as so one thing to note is when you're uh, multiplying the variables x's the exponents basically add up so one thing you'll, re you'll notice is that the 2's here will cancel the one here will cancel and so you're left with x to the power of r's. So let's go ahead and simplify. So you are left with r times r take away one times x to the power of r take away two r x to the power of r take away four x to the power of r is equal to zero. So like previously when we dealt with the characteristic equation, we basically just dropped off all the, the y's and the derivatives of them and from here, it's basically the same. The x to the power of r is basically, basically dropped. And for your characteristic or auxiliary equation, in this case, it's going to be r times r to take away 1, take away 2r, take away 4. And from here, all you have to do is solve for r. So once you distribute the r, you go ahead and simplify. You have r squared take away 3r take away 4. Then you, of course, could factor out here. So r take away 4 times r plus 1 is equal to 0. So you can see that your solution r, let's say r1 is equal to 4, and let's say r2 is equal to negative 1. So these are your distinct roots, r1 and r2. Now for your sol solution of the Cauchy-Euler equation is going to be, so y with respect to x is equal to your arbitrary constant 1 times x to the fourth power plus your, arbit your second arbitrary constant times x to your negative one. So it's going to be in terms of x to the r power, and the r would be whatever roots you solved for. This is how you solve the Cauchy-Euler equation with distinct roots. Now let's go ahead and show an example of case two where we deal with repeated roots. 
So for this example, we have 4x squared times the second derivative of y plus 8x times the first derivative of y plus y is equal to 0. So of course, the first step in solving the Cauchy-Euler equation is essentially assuming y is equal to x to the r power. And then you get the derivatives and plug into the differential equation. So now that we have the, we assume the y got the, guys derivatives go ahead and plug it into the differential equation so we have 4x squared times r times r take away 1 times x to the power of r take away 2 plus 8x r x to the power of r take away 1 plus x to the r is equal to 0 now let's go ahead and simplify here so one thing you have is 4x squared when you're multiplying a, vari a variable with that has exponents, you basically just add them, right? So you have x to the power of 2 plus r, then you take away 2. So these 2s cancel out, and you're left with x to the power of r. And then from here, you have r times r take away 1. And let's keep on simplifying the rest. So once you do that, you'll notice you have x to the power of r's. And for your characteristic equation, Basically, uh, you drop off the x to the power r and solve for your r's. So you have 4 times r times r take away 1 plus 8r plus 1 is equal to 0. So go ahead and simplify and then solve for your r. So you go ahead and distribute the 4r times your parentheses. Then you, you simplify. You have 4r squared plus 4r plus 1 is equal to 0. And then from here, you can actually factor. You have... 2r plus 1 squared is equal to 0. So this is where you'll have repeated roots, where r1 and r2 are both equal to negative, one, negative half. So in this case, your general solution to the Cauchy-Euler equation is your arbitrary constant c1 times x to the r1 power, right, in the form of x to the r. In this case, the first root is negative half but the second root since it's the same we add the, the we have to add a natural log of x so it's x to one half times your natural log of x here and this is how you solve the cauchy order equation with repeated roots so for this example we have 4x squared times y double prime plus 17y is equal to zero so of course the first step you assume y is equal to some form of x to the power of r then you get the derivatives plug into that differential equation so let's go ahead and plug it in so we have 4x squared times r times r take away 1 plus 17x to the r power is equal to Zero. Now, of course, you simplify a bit. You have 4r squared take away 4r plus 17. So now from here, you could you go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for your r. And you actually end up getting 1 half plus or minus 2i. So in this case, the 1 half will be your alpha and this will be your beta. And the basically for case 3, your general solution will be in the form of this. You'll have your arbitrary constant C1 times x to the power of alpha cosine beta ln of x plus your arbitrary constant x to the power of alpha sine beta ln x. So you see how the cosine and sine alternate. So let's go ahead and write up the general solution. So general solution is equal to is y equal to arbitrary constant x to the one half cosine two ln of x plus your arbitrary constant two x to the power one half sine two ln of x. So this is how you solve for the Cauchy-Euler equation when it deals with complex roots. So this is how you solve the Cauchy-Euler equation dealing with three different different cases which is the case one distinct roots case two would be the repeated roots and case three would be the complex roots and these are the general forms of the solutions and how you go about doing them